Good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you another aggressive attacking game which was played at 2021 European Club Cup. On the white side is Russian chess grandmaster Kirill Alexeyenko and his opponent is Austrian chess grandmaster Markus Rager. This game is from round 5 and Alexeyenko opened up with d4, Rager answered with knight f6, c4, g6, h4. From the third move on, White is revealing his aggressive intentions. And this type of an aggressive pawn push is really becoming very popular nowadays. A nice way of meeting Black's upcoming Grunfeld defense. Bishop g7, knight c3, c5. But uh, we see that Black has different ideas and Black is more like heading towards Benoni type positions. Uh, this position earlier had been seen in a game played between Magnus Carlsen and French chess grandmaster Maxime Vachet Lagrave at St. Louis Rapid and Blitz. And in here, Carlsen chose E4 continuation. It was played in 2019. But in this game, we have H5. A pawn sacrifice is on the board and so white is opening up the h file for the rook. d6, getting a nice wedge on d6 which is having a paralyzing effect on black's position. Black castled kingside and it seems like that after this move black is starting to face problems. Uh, better was for example knight c6. If e4 then a6. Preparing b5 and then knight d4, for example. Uh, but instead, we have castling king side, a bold decision, of course, and you have to be very careful because this can have tragic consequences. Queen goes on f3, h5. Another mistake which is weakening the king side too much. Better was playing knight e5. If queen g3, then knight takes g4. And if f4, then f5. And this leads to a very sharp battle. But instead we have h5 and the one who is on the attacking side is white. The one who has initiative is of course white. Knight d4, queen h3. White is not interested in covering this c2 square and is inviting knight c2 check. But at the moment playing knight c2 check is not that good. In the end of the day, white has this bishop takes h5 move. That's why black first played queen f6 and f4. Uh, let me tell you that now, once there is a queen on the 6th rank, after bishop takes h5, queen takes h5, in the end of the day, black has this nice defensive queen g6 move. Uh, that's why we have f4 and knight c2 check. Finally, Knight c2 is on the board and now let's see how is white going to conclude the attack after sacrificing the rook. There followed bishop takes h5, g takes h5 and f5. Now can you understand the idea hidden behind this pawn push? Already the g6 square is under control and white wants to go for queen takes h5. Rook 8, black is opening up a loop for his king but there is no way out. He takes f5, knight d5. Well, the threat was bishop g5, right? What else black can play? Queen d4, and after knight e2, resignation followed. Let's take a look at one of the possible lines. For example, if queen d3, then knight f6 check is coming. If here, then check, and black king is getting checkmate hit. And if king f8, then anyways, bishop h6 is coming, you are removing that strong defender, after which black king is defenseless, victory is just a matter of moves. Uh, that's why after knight e2, finally, Austrian chess grandmaster resigned. So this is it, dear chess lovers, this was a quick and victorious game by Kirill Alexeyenko, definitely a huge role in this game played a home preparation, but even so, the game is sparkling and definitely is worth of a careful analysis. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video.